This is a Cold Steel Original Tie Light, and it's actually made out of titanium. It's why they call it the Tie Light. And so the Tie Light was introduced in 2001. And so that means this is probably a 20 year old knife. And so uh, me and Hisatsu 5, we just went to a gun show and uh, we saw some really cool knives. One was by Bob Dozier. We saw a triple action for $200. We saw the Imperial set of uh, the Tantos uh, that were really early in Cold Steel's history. But a guy right beside that guy had this, this tie light, and guess how much it cost? Uh, it was really neat because it seems like he was actually basing it off the modern um, uh, Zytel model. And so he had this marked for $50. And so um, I did not have cash on me, so I owe Austin some cash, but Austin was able to pick this up for me, and so I will pay him back. Uh, it was in really pristine condition. They had a sheath that looked like a Maglite sheath that went with it, but it wasn't original to it. Uh, the blade is more highly polished, and this is the Aus 8 blade. Um, titanium handle, titanium pocket clip, leaf spring liner lock, um, the tip was slightly dull. The edge back here was still shaving sharp. Uh, the only thing that I can see that's slightly wrong with it is that it just has just a little bit of up and down. You might be able to hear it. And so um, the liner lock is titanium. Now it's made out of stainless steel. And owning a few uh, titanium liner locks from Cold Steel uh, so this blade is super hard. It's heat treated. Titanium is soft. And so if this thing has been opened up, you know, 200 to 500 times, there's a possibility it can just develop a little bit of up and down. And so uh, that's just kind of a weakness of the old school knives. But this is made in Japan, as you can see. And uh, for $50, it, it's just a great deal. There, there was another uh, blade, excuse me, there was another tie light that was made alongside this way back in the day, and it was made out of titanium, but it was anodized blue. And that, was, that is the most beautiful cold steel tie light there is. But in my opinion, uh, this is the second best tie light you can get. And so again, it's, it's the original, made in Japan, full titanium, titanium pocket clip. Uh, just to tell you the truth, it is a little bit hard to get this pocket clip in and out of the pocket, which is kind of common for cold stills, but I really enjoy it. And I'm glad Austin was there to uh, back me up so I could get this original tie light.